Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to get the month numbers and month names by using recursive CTE in SQL Server. So this is the final output of this session. We are going to create one recursive CTE to get the month number and month name. So, so inside SQL view, we can create recursive CTE so that that SQL view can be consumed inside our real time applications. I am going to use SQL Server for this. Here I am going to create one CTE and we will see how to get the month numbers and month name. So this is my CTE name. Here I am going to write my select queries to generate the month numbers and month names select query here first month number will be 1 and I will give the alias name as month number this is going to be month number I will use the union all here because this is going to be recursive CT now I can call this month number from CT CT months so here we have to increment the month number with one so here this will add so here we are going to use recursive so we have to pass where condition so maximum months will be 12 so we have to give it as less than 12 so finally we have to call the select query i'm going to give this ct name here we will execute and we'll see the output so this is the month number i'm getting now i need month name also for that i'll get month number and then i need month name for that i'm going to use inbuilt function date name and here i'm going to call month and i'm going to add date add here i have to call month comma month number i have to pause it will be 0 and it should be minus 1 so this I will give it name as month name so this is 0 so now here we are getting month number by passing the month number so we are going to use the inbuilt function to get the month name we will try to execute this so we are getting month number and month name as per our expectation so now we can create sql view and inside this we can call this ct i'm going to copy it everything i'll create a sql view here I'll give us get month names. So this is my SQL view name. So you can change as per your requirement. As here I'm going to call this CTE. I'll execute now. Our view has been created. Now I'm going to select month names from my view. Select store from we have to pause the view now. I am selecting this query, execute it. So here we are getting month numbers and month names. These details now by using this SQL view, we can consume in our real time applications. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.